What's up, everybody? My name is Emily Jean. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a spectacular day. Today is a very exciting day, and I've actually kind of been looking forward to it. Today is the release of Bridgerton, the unofficial musical. They released it. It was created by um, Emily Bear and Abigail Barlow, and I'm really excited to listen to it. The question is... Um, where do we listen? Uh-huh. So it is Bridgerton the Musical, the unofficial <clears throat> Bridgerton the Musical. Wow, 15 songs. Before we get all into the Bridgerton the Musical, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because it'll really support my channel. So for those of you who don't know, on TikTok during quarantine, there was this crazy big spike of people creating songs for Bridgerton the Musical, and it was created by um, Abigail Barlow and Emily Bear, who are um, very inspiring ladies, and I, uh, I'm i very proud to like have watched their journey and, and follow them, and, and everything's incredible. Um, so I think Abigail, she posted one song idea, like a couple of phrases, on TikTok and it blew up. And now it's become a full scale, like they produced a whole like unofficial album. Um, so I figured we could, I'm not going to like obviously do the entire thing because that would be a very long video, but I'm going to give you my like reaction to listening to the music. So here we go. So this first song is called Tis the Season. <laughs> The opening number. Grosvenor Square, 1813. Dearest reader, the time has come to place our bets for the upcoming so. I like her uh, Julie Andrews interpretation. <laughs> Hi, can I be cast in Bridgerton the musical? Let's do that. Flawless, my dear. Did that really just happen? Hmm, that's a nice little opening number. I just can't believe that they orchestrated, like I got like chills on that. Um, I just can't believe that they orchestrated the whole thing and then typically when you see <clears throat> cast recordings, like Broadway recordings, they don't really include text a lot. But because this is an unofficial one, I actually kind of enjoy that they included parts of the script. Um, it's really cool. Down, it's appalling. What a shame. No disgrace their family name. Mm, this harmony is to blame without a doubt. It's made you whistle down, down, down. Now you've got a secret. This is probably gonna be my favorite song. I guess I have to be a lady. Smiling. Oh. Lady. That's low. I guess I have to be a lady. Wow. Waving, constantly obeying. Fun. I guess I need a prince to come and save me, even if I don't need saving. Even if I don't need saving. That's very low. I guess I must sit on a throne I don't own. Raising the babies we made all alone. I guess it's a lady, there's just some things I'll never know. But if I were a man, I'd go. Yeah, this is my favorite song. I have the whole world in the palm of my hand. I finally do what I could, but I can't. If I were a man, Eloise, I must defy. What if I want to fly? Cause if I were a man, he changed. We love that. I have the whole world in the palm of my hand. I finally do what I could, but I can't if I were a man. Fun. That's really fun. 
That song I think is really well written and I, it reminds me of um, from Something Rotten. Um, if you ever got in trouble, I'll be there on the double just to bail you out. I love that. Fun. Uh, the deserving of the boy I love. Is this Emily singing? Never the star, always an asteroid, delicate heart, forever the last choice of the one I want. I think this is Emily. She was the composer. She's singing. So I keep it all in. It's like I'm invisible in my own skin. I also love that most of them are female songs. I don't know. Girl power. So the ruse, obviously that's like contextual um, in terms of the storytelling. I feel like visually it would look really good on stage with, with them coming together for their duel. Um, this is another song that was a hit on TikTok. No, don't you try to hold me close. That door is closed now. Go, go find yourself a girl who smells just like a rose. I'm on my own now. I don't need you. You don't need me. I can find my own battles. If my my camera bots are doids, but I'm in the uh we're in Fool for You, which would be um, Anthony's love interest. And she's saying, no, I won't be a fool for you. So fun. Be a fool no more. All right, so they didn't really change that one. That one stays the same. I bet you they'd add on to that a little bit. But that one, for the most part, was the same. If you tell a joke, and I'm still not amused, you're through your majesty. So now I'm thinking, like, who would play the queen? Who would play the queen, you guys? Leave a comment on Broadway. Who would play the queen? This is the song. Honeymoon. Pacing on our severed runes. Running from our ivory runes. We do. Please forgive me, your grace. And now I must lie in the less you made. It's beautifully orchestrated. Oh, I'm getting chills. How do you feel? I feel wonderful. From the morning she is to the evening she cries. I'm getting chills. I'm always thinking of you. I'm always dreaming of you. From the mornings to late in the night, it is you I cannot sacrifice. Oh. That's gonna sound real good as a duet. Yes, I have to find a lady. We love a reprise. Who is so down to Eloise is the best character. For the queen, she doesn't think I'm Eloise. I'm not just Eloise, I'm then a bitch. And I'll do it for the queen. Oh, I'll do it for the queen. So here's the thing, like, I know that they've got this, but like, I feel like I'm so used to having Abigail sing. I was like, I want her to be in it. I think she'd make a great Eloise. Oh, that's a fun song. Balancing the scales, all my job entails, making sure that they're prepared to see the world. She's got a beautiful voice. It's very beautiful. Orchestrated beautifully. I did the best I could, but still I have failed. Have still I have failed. Balancing the scales. Want them to see the world, but I always get. Oh, it's good harmony. Balancing the scales. Ooh. 
overall very beautiful. Obviously, my sort of favorite songs are the ones, and the thing is, is that they publicized all the writing as they went along. So, you know, we're, we're used to, there was a couple of new songs, but for the most part, we were sort of part of their writing process, which I think is really cool. If I Were a Man and Burn For You are my top songs. Balancing the scales is beautiful. Um, I do think, and obviously, you know, this is just an album of the songs that they wrote. I would, I would want like an epic, like ball song where like the ensemble would be doing this beautiful ball. Um, but that can all be totally workshopped if they ever decide to do this as a workshop or a Broadway show. But man, listen, like this past, the past two years have been so hard. I know people were making fun of Ratatouille for being on TikTok. But people are trying to be creative. Bridgerton is an amazing TV show, an amazing book, an amazing concept. I think the writing is really unique and it's some stuff that we really haven't heard on Broadway, um, which is fun. Uh, amazing orchestrations. The two of them as a team are just amazing. What do you guys think? Um, go check out Bridgerton the Musical on Spotify. I was just listening to it on Spotify. I definitely th think people are going to be putting some of these songs in their book. So I'll be interested to see if I go audition and I hear If I Were a Man, one of those songs or something like that. Um, yeah, leave a comment below. What do you guys think of Bridgerton the Musical? Do you think it's a good idea? Do you Would you go see Bridgerton the Musical? I think it's great. I would love to see it. I would love to be in the ensemble of it and maybe cover one of the girls. I know I'm probably a little old to be one of the girls because they're supposed to be like young coming of age but you never know you never know well i hope you guys enjoyed my reaction video to bridgerton the musical album please before you go don't forget to subscribe because it'll really support my channel and i'll see you guys in the next video